I'm Melissa Gordon. I am the artist that created the Connections Mural in the Heritage Art Tunnel. So the Bismarck Mandan Chamber Leadership Program had a committee that had graduated in 2019 that had put together an idea for a public art piece. The project that they had chosen was the tunnel. They wanted to put a mural there, but they weren't sure exactly what. They just put together a plan to actually make it happen. And so when they graduated, the five ladies amongst themselves said, hey, why don't we just do this? And, and that's when they approached me with it through Dakota West Arts Council. What they wanted was a timeline. And that's, that's the first thing that they came with. That was the only word that they had for me as far as what they wanted to see in there. And so just talking about the timeline, the connections, for whatever reason, the circuit board popped into my head. And that's where the whole idea for the connections mural took off from. Everything that I used for reference material came from the historical site, either the fourth grade curriculum that's online on the website or actual pictures um, inside the Heritage Center. The North Dakota uh, fourth grade curriculum came from one of the ladies that was in the committee. When we decided on the idea to use the North Dakota Studies curriculum as the basis for this mural, Danny was the person that we were sent to as an expert as far as all the curriculum goes. I think the research and development on a piece like this, it takes such a long time to pull everything together and make sure you're not missing anything because accuracy is important. The colors of the connections on the mural actually are the same as what's on the website. I used like the pink for the petroleum because that's the headers on the website, the orange for the coal, the green for the renewables. There's no part that's random. Every single piece in the mural represents some point in history that's important to the state of North Dakota. The north side of the tunnel is the energy development, so all the things that are connected there on that side is past to present in energy development in the state of North Dakota. And then the south side is the agricultural development. Every piece of the farm equipment that I used in the mural on the agricultural side came from screenshots using my camera in the museum to take pictures of the videos of all the farm implements that are, are found there. You can see at the beginning of the mural, there's a lot of clouds and the rain that comes down and that forms the swamp lands where the you know microscopic creatures arrived, the dinosaurs and the, the vegetation that are present in the swamps as well, you know, the, all the rain and, and the atmosphere at that time, creating the coal seams farther on down in the mural, right by the woolly mammoth where it actually turns into the ice age. If you look at the cloud patterns in the sky, you can see where the blue lines coming down from the clouds turn into white lines for the snow for the ice age. The sun lines, the connection from the sun lines, the purple lines, actually stop right in there because of the overcast skies due to the um, asteroid striking the Earth, which is what created the Ice Age and the cl different climate change at that point in time. And then the lines pick up past the Ice Age, things turn green again, the clouds come back again, and then we move more into an archaic period of time. Part of this mural process that Bismarck has really gotten into over the last about five years, I think it started with Art Alley, which was another Bisman leadership project. And people reacted in such a great way with that, and that's become a destination. So the public art thing has just kind of taken off. We're hoping that the Heritage Art Tunnel is just a beginning step in developing that particular little piece of property. There's so many different things that you could do creatively with that space. Traditionally, artists are in their studio at their easel painting their painting, and it's a very isolated kind of a career path. But as a mural artist, you're out in the community, you're meeting people, you're hearing their stories, how they connect with what you're doing with their artwork. And it just, it just is a real community building thing to have public art. I'm hoping that it generates an interest, especially with the children. That's why the design of the tunnel is very graphic, playful, it's bright, it's colorful, it's something that kids would be really interested in, and I'm hoping to inspire them to learn more about North Dakota.